Hi everyone, I'm Ellie English and welcome back to my channel. In today's five minute English class, we're going to look at the difference between a pair of vowels and the pair of vowels is e as in bed and a as in bad. And I'm going to explain to you what is the difference between this pair? How do we make them? How do we make them sound different? I'm going to give you a list of minimal pairs. Okay, so words that are only different because of this vowel. And then I'm going to give you some sentences with some e and a words in them. Okay, so first of all then, how do we make these vowel sounds and how are they different? So both of these vowels are short. Okay, they're short vowels. They are made at the front of the mouth. E, e, a, a. Can you see that for a, my mouth is wider open. Okay, it is still at the front of the mouth. Don't be tempted to make an R sound. A, a, e, a, e, a. All right. So practice that in some pairs of words. All the pairs of words that I'm going to give you and the sentences that I'll give you after that are all in the comments of this video. So do feel free to have a read through of them first. Look at them as you're doing this. Okay, first pair. Ed, ad. Ed, ad. Next pair. Bed, bad. Bed, bad third one. Kept. Captain. Kept. Captain. Bit of a tricky one that one isn't it? Next one. Jenny. Janet. Jenny. Janet. Two very popular common names for women of around about my age in the UK. Next one. Head. Had. Head, had. And finally, set, sat. Set, sat. So if this pair is particularly tricky for you, I would advise you at this point to pause the video and go back and practice these ones. Okay? If you're ready, I'm going to give you some sentences. Again, I would advise you after I've said each sentence to pause and just to practice saying that, please don't just sit here and watch me. Your English will not improve, your pronunciation will not improve by watching. It will only improve by doing. All right, here's your sentences. My friend Ed was the captain of the local running club. My friend Ed was the captain of the local running club. Jenny has to add the scores up at the end of the game. Jenny has to add the scores up at the end of the game. Third one. You'll have to go to bed earlier if your behaviour keeps being so bad. <laughs> You'll have to go to bed earlier if your behaviour keeps being so bad. Never said that to my kids ever. Next one. I kept getting annoyed with Janet. I kept getting annoyed with Janet. Next one. You had set that meeting up for the wrong time. You had set that meeting up for the wrong time. So had set. You had set that meeting up for the wrong time. And finally, I told him it would be on his head if he sat on the boss's chair. I told him it would be on his... Right, hold on one second. I told him it would be on his head if he sat down in the boss's chair. I told him it would be on his head if he sat down in the boss's chair. All right, I did write this sentence, but I wrote it yesterday. So what this means is if something is on your head, it means it's your responsibility. So we might say, you know, on your head be it, okay? So this one again. I told him it would be on his head if he sat down in the boss's chair. If he sat down in the boss's chair. I told him it would be on his head if he sat down in the boss's chair. Okay, so practice those pairs. Practice those sentences, making sure you very, very clearly have two short front vowels, but where the mouth is clearly different. Okay, the mouth is clearly more open for the ah sound. 
best of luck with those ones thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next five minute english class